So you know how over the last 10 years we were bombarded with scandal after scandal of big tech corporations spying on us and selling our data? Remember how nobody really gave a damn? Remember how we continued to clamor for the latest iPhone, the latest smart home assistant, desperately rushing to fill the void of meaninglessness via the voracious consumption of products, completely blasé about the fact that we were literally complicit in creating the kind of surveillance dystopia that would make George Orwell scoff in disbelief, yeah. Well, it might be time to start giving a damn. All that information you've been gleefully handing over to the guy who once literally described you as a dumb fuck for doing so will now be used against you. The same social credit score system that has already restricted millions of Chinese citizens from buying plane tickets, train tickets, purchasing property, sending their children to private schools is coming soon to the good old US of A. In many ways, it's already here, thanks to our progressive over lords in Silicon Valley. Patron scan runs your ID through a database when you enter a bar. If the system decides you've been a naughty boy or girl, you're not getting in the bar. Insurance companies in New York are now basing premiums on social media posts. That Instagram selfie of you eating a bucket of cheese fries might end up costing you big time. Major fundraising sites are kicking off creators for their wrong thing. Uber has banned conservatives for their offensive tweets. Airbnb has refused service to people for their online activity. Conservatives are being banned from entering entire countries because of their views. PayPal, which is taking over numerous credit card processing companies, bans people for their political opinions. They just banned Trump supporter and Floridian Jacob Engels right as Hurricane Dorian made landfall. Very pleasant people. Major banks are terminating customer accounts because of their political opinions. Imagine going to buy groceries and your card gets declined because some chicken neck in Silicon Valley didn't like what you posted on Twitter about Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. No food for you. In China, citizens with low social credit scores are restricted from using dating websites. Now Facebook, as if it wasn't already a frighteningly gargantuan monopoly, just launched its own dating service. Turning over private, intimate relationship information to a faceless, amoral corporation that spies on you, sells your data, and can arbitrarily ban you for expressing the wrong opinion. Marvelous idea! You just met the love of your life, but lost all contact because you were banned for posting a spicy meme. Merely appearing in a photo with someone Mark Zuckerberg doesn't like is enough to get you banned by Facebook. That's Chinese Communist style social credit score 101. Even if you just affiliate with a designated thought criminal, you get punished too. And if you think all this sounds like it was ripped straight from the plot of some nightmarish Black Mirror episode, that's nah, because it was. That's reserved for members of our Prime Flight program. You gotta be a 4.2 or over to qualify. Oh, I'm, I'm a 4.2. <laughs> mm -mm. I'm afraid you're actually a 4.183. Well, that's not my fault. Um, some woman dinged me down in the cadre. Can't you just- I'm sorry, it won't let me book it without the correct ranking. Two starts. Two stars? Wasn't a meaningful encounter. Everyone is a little bit heightened and false because everyone's terrified of being marked down because the consequences of that are unpleasant. So it's basically the world we live in. And now the Trump administration is considering a social credit score type program to restrict people from buying guns. They're talking about using Fitbits, Amazon Alexa and Google Home to monitor signs of quote, neuropsychiatric violence. In other words, if Alexa, which totally isn't listening to and recording all your conversations, picks up some edgy chatter, no Second Amendment for you. So while his supporters are being banned by big tech left, right and centre, the Trump administration is considering partnering with big tech to spy on Americans via their smart devices to deprive them of their basic rights. Thanks, Javanka. And it's not like any of this is a revelation. Five years ago, under a project code named Weeping Angel, the CIA was already hacking into your smart TVs and recording your words. Seven years ago, it was revealed that Samsung smart TVs were recording people's conversations. Last year, a New Hampshire judge ordered Amazon to turn over two days of recordings from an in-home Alexa device. But they're totally not listening to all your conversations. Amazon already has the patent to use Alexa to detect, quote, an excited emotional state or a sad emotional state in your voice 
then prescribe you medications based on that. Because Jeff Bezos really wants to take care of you. Alexa, what is the CIA? The United States Central Intelligence Agency, CIA. Alexa, are you connected to the CIA? <laughs> Alexa, are you connected to the CIA? I warned that all this was coming 13 years ago. And they called me a conspiracy theorist. Dissidents will be stripped of basic life amenities, deprived of the right to commerce, imprisoned in a vast digital gulag, dehumanized, rendered destitute. Brave protesters in Hong Kong are literally ripping down surveillance cameras to express their opposition to all this. What are we doing? Wetting our pants in anticipation of the new iPhone because it has a slightly better camera and more battery life. At least in China, there's still some semblance of a legal system that citizens can turn to as a redress for their grievances. In America, all this will be controlled by monolithic, unaccountable corporations who have blanket immunity. So when conservatives are left with no access to the digital public square, no right to travel, no right to own firearms, no right to bank accounts, no right to buy and sell. All because we suggested that there might not be more than two genders. At least we can comfort ourselves with the collective mantra. They're private companies. They can do what they like. <laughs> My voice is being silenced by free speech hating Silicon Valley giants who want me disappeared forever. It's absolutely crucial that you support me by donating at Subscribestar. It's also vital that you sign up for my free newsletter at summit.news forward slash newsletter so we never lose contact. And please support my sponsor Turboforce, the powerful new energy drink without the come down. Link in description.